and welcome to English Like a Native. My name is Anna. I'm Alastair Cohen. Now, Alastair is another YouTuber, has a fantastic channel which covers things like... Oh, you've got lots on there. You've got gadgets, you've got comedy, you've got vlogs, you've got meeting other YouTubers like this one, and just things that I think are going to be funny or fun or educational. Exciting. So if you're into YouTubers, gadgets or having fun, then I suggest that you head over to Alistair's channel straight after you've finished watching this video and check out some of the things that he's got to offer. The links will be in the description box below and on the very end of this video. So Alistair's here today to delve into my fruit bowl. Why? Because in English we use a lot of fruit-based idioms phrases and slang and I thought you should know all about them. And they're good. They're good to use because they'll make you seem more like a native speaker and this video is going to be important because they don't really make any sense. If someone doesn't explain them to you, literally translated, they make no next, to, next to no sense. So yeah. this is going to be useful. What piece of fruit are we going to use first? Do you want to stick your hand in my fruit bowl? Oh. 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 We have an apple. So one of the first idioms that we're going to cover is apple of my eye. Why is there an apple in your eye? It doesn't... Well, apple of someone's eye means that you love that person or that that person is very important to you. It's like the sweetest thing you could see is that person. Maybe that's where it comes from. That's a very good explanation. Oh, I just made that up. You should be an English teacher. I should write... Greetings cards. <laughs> so I could say that Alistair is the apple of my eye. Oh, you sh you shut up. <laughs> you stop it. Right, what piece of fruit are we going to do next? Um, a plum. Plums can either be uh, an affectionate term for an idiot. <laughs> you plum. What are you doing, you plum? Or... <laughs> I don't like the way you're holding them. I know where this is going. <laughs> Plums look very much like testicles. Do they? Do they look like testicles? Well, like... in terms of size. Yeah. So um, a man might say, Oh, my plums are getting in the way. <laughs> is that your man voice? Is that <laughs> how that works? <laughs> this, is how men, this is how men stand. Oh, my plums. Stick your hand in my fruit bowl, please. <laughs> we have a peach. It's a peach. Oh, it smells good. Now, peach means beautiful, really. It can explain a situation. So someone scores a goal in football and you go, that was a good goal, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a peach. That was a proper peach of a goal. Yeah. Yeah. Or... You can also call someone's bum peachy because a peach also has this kind of shape. So if someone has a nice bottom, you can say it's like a peachy bottom. Yes, so peachy bottoms or peachy situations. Peach. Now, my favourite one is a banana. Now, um, most people actually can't say this word very well. I'm always correcting my students with how to say this. How do they normally say it? Banana. 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 So you have to make sure you have this long vowel sound in the middle. Banana. And yeah, no, not, to... not that long. <laughs> Hi, I would like one banana. <laughs> but that's the sound that you go for. Ah. The long vowel in the middle. R. Banana. Ah. It's also how you have to eat it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to remember it. So we might say that someone is going bananas, someone is bananas, or you might tell someone to go bananas. And it just means to go a bit crazy. <laughs> so that is what going bananas means. And if you are in a crowd of people and um, you wouldn't say this as an actual DJ, but you might want to be like, hey, everyone, go bananas. Let's head back to the apple. It's a common, it's a, there's a lot with apples. Mm. Very English fruit, that's probably why. Yes. We can call somebody a bad apple. Ooh. Or say that they're rotten to the core. Ooh. If they're a bad apple, that's quite self-explanatory. It just means that they're a bad person. And it has an element to it of doing bad to others mm -hmm. because if you have one bad apple in a barrel of apples it will make the others go bad as well. It will rot the others. Yeah, so a bad apple is a bad person that will also possibly make others go bad as well. 
my god, I just love how like we're like really good friends, I know. and our friend group is just so just nice and positive. Yeah, everyone's lovely. Everyone's lovely. There's like no bad influences. No. Although, uh, is is Jessica coming today? Oh, I hope not. It's... She's a bit. She's different, isn't she? She's not quite. Yeah, I don't want to say anything, but she's a little bit. She's not the same. <laughs> doesn't give a damn, does she, Anna? Um, Anna, I'm just gonna whip out my grapes. Why do we have grapes in here? What idiom is there related to grapes? Well, you can have sour grapes. And sour, to have sour grapes means to feel sour or bitter about a situation. Mm -hmm. If you think about when, when grapes are sour and they're really tart and you eat them and you get that face. This face. People who are like that have sour grapes. Well, I think that's grape, don't you? <laughs> right. So, melons, firstly, you could call someone a melon. Ah, oh, you melon. It's very similar to calling someone a plum. It's just an affectionate way of saying that someone's a bit silly or an idiot or they've been a bit foolish. You can call someone a melon head, mm. which it generally refers to someone who's got a very big head. Sure. Like a melon. <laughs> like let's a melon. get to the let's get to the really <laughs> let's get to the really juicy melon idiom. The really authors. juicy melon um, usage is slang. It's a slang word for someone's boobs. Good. Yeah. We yep. got that. Or breasts, if you are not familiar with the word boobs. Yes. So um, you might say that someone has a juicy pair of melons. <laughs> I'd say a uh, big. I don't know. A juice, juicy suggests. I don't know. <laughs> They might be lactating. Yeah, is that a good thing? <laughs> Either way, a lady's melons you might refer to it like, hey, look at her melons, I guys. Should, I should have got two, really, shouldn't I? Yeah, you just got, well, you've got one. If I stand to one side. Perfect, there we go. Oh! My melons bring the like boys to squeeze my melon? <laughs> oh! I know, this is, this is we've taken a, a very carry on turn with this video. I, I would be very careful saying saying you've got a lovely pair of melons to a lady. Yeah. It's, not, it's a very familiar term, isn't it? Something you want to think, but not say. What's going to come out? Bing! A lemon. A lemon. If I'm buying a car, mm. and the car is a broke down <laughs> rubbish car, it's not what you were expecting, you might say that you got a lemon. Yeah. And I think I've heard horses, so people that like to to bet on horse races when a horse that's supposed to do well then doesn't do very well because they've hurt their leg or something you described it that horse is a bit of a lemon bit of a it's lemon. a bit of a kind something that's a bit sort of broken yeah dysfunctional doesn't do what it was supposed to do if you've got sold something and it falls apart as soon as you get it home bit of a lemon okay so that's lemon the last apple <clears throat> one is you might hear someone say the apple never falls far from the tree mm. And this means that a person is not dissimilar to where they originated from. Or their parents. From their parents. So, for example, if a person, let's pick randomly a president of, of the United States of America, um, is someone who is not a very nice man, theoretically, then if their children turn out to also not be very nice people, you can look at them and you can say, oh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I don't like him. I don't like him. What's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. Oh, I mean. Oh, I mean. Now, in general, we've talked about individual fruits, but overall, you could say that someone is fruity or a situation is fruity. Being fruity means being a bit suggestive, Ooh. maybe a little bit sexually suggestive, a bit naughty, but generally it's quite harmless. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit flirty, in a kind of funny way. Playful. Playful, but nothing too overtly sexual. Yes. So we've been a little bit fruity in our explanations today, and Alastair is always a bit fruity. So there we have it, we've covered our 10 top common fruit-based slang, phrases and... Idioms. Idioms. There we go. We got there. Um, so we had apple of my eye, the apple never falls far from the tree, a bad apple, mm. to go bananas, <laughs> um, that someone could be a peach or something Ooh. is a peach, Ooh. to have sour grapes, Ooh. that something is a lemon, oh. mm. 
to be a plum or to mm. have plums. Mm. Ooh, how? <laughs> Um, to have a lovely pair of melons, or oh. to, to be a melon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. Wait, wrong way around. <laughs> and to be a little bit fruity. Mm. Ding dong. <laughs> now, I would like you to choose your favourite fruit-based idiom and go out there and use it at least three times this week. Don't forget that you have to now head over to Alistair's channel to check out all the fantastic stuff that he's got. And today I've been filming kind of a behind the scenes video of what Anna's house looks like and all the stuff we were doing before we started filming. Uh, that will be up soon, so when you get to my channel, look out for that, subscribe and make sure you don't miss it if you want to know more about the life and times of Anna. I'll be releasing videos on a regular basis, so make sure you have subscribed to this channel. It's good stuff, guys. It's and, uh, educational and fun. It's Anna's is also fun educational. And uh, go away now, eat fruit and be merry. Bye. Bye. Um, do you want to hold my banana? I thought you'd never ask. Put me melons away. Yeah. Melon, always getting melon. the melons out on camera. <laughs> it's a wonder there's not more subscribers, really. You might refer to... Uh, a lady's lemon. No, well, I'm joking, <laughs> not lemons. The apple doesn't fall far, far from the... I'm going to say that again. The apple doesn't fall far from the... Fucking hell! <laughs> Crazy, she's going literally bananas right now. I oh, don't put it back. <laughs> like that, that. Good, so, um, uh, uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>